Hello, Paul here, and I wanna share with you the power of really using patterns in Photoshop, which is what I wanna do here with uh, this design. I wanna flood the background with flowers, right? Sometimes I'd actually use Illustrator, right, to make those patterns, but guess what? I don't need to worry about doing that, nor do I need to worry about copying, pasting so many flowers to flood the background. I just kind of sort of create my document, go into the magic of view pattern preview, right? So take all that content and just start giving me a pattern. And from here I can see, oh, there's a little gap, you know, right up here, so we can move that flower over. Let's take uh, this, uh, these leaves, kind of fill that space. You know, even jump in and uh, I think what I'll do is I will just like continue this line. So we'll just use the curvature tool, click, click, do that a couple times and now we have that continuous line, which is awfully fancy, right? So do whatever manipulation you want, have fun with it, then go to edit, you guessed it, define pattern. That's what we wanna do and we can just call this flowers, right? and use this anywhere we want. So we'll jump back to this original document, go into our patterns, and you can see it right down there at the bottom. And guess what, we just drop that onto that layer. And now we have all these lovely flowers that we can also control. So I could maybe crank this down, maybe 60%, maybe adjust the angle if I want to as well, right? Get whatever sort of unique look I'm looking for, all by using pattern preview and creating patterns in Photoshop. So check it out today.